Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end into the DXY and Nasdaq. So let's start here straight into the Bitcoin price and here is the daily time frame. We're gonna start with this time frame today because yesterday we had a nice successful close here above the EMA ribbons and also above all the important moving averages. So today what we want to see is a successful daily close above the EMA ribbons and also above the 9 daily moving average right here at $56,300 in order to potentially push higher here towards this target of $61,000 to finally test this important Fibonacci retracement level from this big correction that we had after the all-time high of $65,000. So as I told you my friends, we are out of the woods from this correction once we're pushing higher than $61,000 and of course also start to close daily candles above the Keltner channels because so far they are acting as a resistance and of course also above the Bollinger Bands because as you can see the Bollinger Bands right now are coming down to the Keltner channels and usually the Keltner channels are moving within the Bollinger Bands. So a big move in my opinion is about to come here let's see if it's going to be to the upside or to the downside in my opinion of course since we are in a bull market the likelihood that we could break out to the upside and continue to go higher towards new all-time highs is of course higher but since we still have these warning signs that the top of the Keltner channels is giving us resistance and we are still in miners capitulation in the hash ribbons indicator we still could get one more or less leg down towards fifty thousand dollars maybe even to retest forty seven thousand dollars before we definitely are out of the woods and then continue our parabolic move to the upside but this is only important if here we are not able now to close this daily candle above the $56,300 level because in that case we will most likely fall down again and even lower than this low that we had here of $53,000. So it's going to be very important that today we are not dropping again below the EMA ribbons here and below the 9 daily moving average. We want now these important moving averages as a new support in order to push higher and finally go and test this $61,000. So based on the daily time frame, the chances are very high that we could see follow through to the upside in the next coming hours. So let's go into the lower time frames like the four hour because here after this nice buy signal that we got yesterday, you can see that we successfully recovered also here above the EMA ribbons and also above all the important moving averages. So this consolidation that we are seeing here in the four hour time frame is very bullish and we should in theory expect also here a big bounce to the upside based on my own indicator we still have a lot of room left to the upside we are also now back above the 50 level in the rsi so until we are in overbought condition we still have a lot of room left to the upside and that's why i'm expecting here a possible attempt to go and fight this sixty-one thousand dollars. and here then we're gonna see if this is now a new resistance point and we're gonna finally create here a lower high or if we are able to push higher and then of course also potentially see new all-time highs incoming because because once we are starting to close candles, especially in the daily time frame above the Keltner channels and even better above the Bollinger Bands, then we're gonna see explosive moves to the upside. And as you know, Bitcoin can start to go really parabolic within a couple of hours. So everything is pointing out that here we could see very soon an attempt of pushing higher towards $61,000 right at this important Fibonacci retracement level and then we're gonna see what will happen because once we are pushing higher than that then I think we are out of the woods and we should look towards new all-time highs very very soon here for Bitcoin. So watch out for the next couple of four hour closes. If they are going to be above $57,400, then I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see follow through towards $61,000. But if we would fail here, if we would get a sell signal here in the next coming hours and start to close four hour candles again below $56,000 and even worse, daily candles below $56,000, then the correction is not over yet and we most likely gonna head lower towards $51,000 and maybe even test 47k again before we definitely gonna bottom out here and continue towards new all-time highs here for Bitcoin. 
And now let's switch over into Ethereum because here we have a bearish pattern that is unfolding here in the four hour time frame. We are forming this rising wedge right at this important Fibonacci extension level of $3,500. So the chances here are very high that we could see a breakout to the downside here and then potentially go and test this important price level here of $3,100. So that wouldn't change much here on the bullish structure for Ethereum. We will still remain in an uptrend, but here in the short term, it looks like that we're building up this bearish pattern that could potentially bring us down again towards $3,100. And if here we are able to confirm this as a new support, then of course, this would be a good buy and long opportunity, especially if you're trading Ethereum over on Bybit or Femix with leverage where you can do with small money, big gains. And if you still need an account over on Bybit or Femex, the link is in the description to register to those exchanges and also claim some extra money if you use my sign up links down below here in the description. So if you want to trade this breakout out of this rising wedge, then wait for a four hour close below this important support level that we have in this wedge currently at $3,350. Or if we're gonna break out here to the upside, which of course is also possible, if we're gonna have a four hour close above $3,580, then we could see here continuation to the upside and a potential breakout out of this rising wedge to the upside will take us straight to the next Fibonacci extension level of $4,050. So since Ethereum is looking extremely bullish, there is still the chance that we could break out here to the upside, but those are bearish patterns. So I think the likelihood is higher that we could see a breakout to the downside and retest $3,100 before we continue higher. So if you want to trade this pattern, wait here for a clear breakout and then trade it with a short or with a long position over on Bybit. And if we go over into the daily time frame. Here you can see that also we are getting very soon a sell signal. It will be confirmed if today we're gonna close in this region here. So if today we're not gonna see a breakout to the upside, the sell signal tomorrow is confirmed. And this means usually during an uptrend that we could come back down to retest the nine daily moving average here at $3,100, exactly at the target of this rising wedge. And in the worst case scenario, if here we wouldn't see a big bounce to the upside, we could even fall down towards a 20 daily moving average which right now is at $2,700. So Ethereum is still looking very bullish and I'm expecting here new all-time highs very soon, even though we could get here in the short term a little pullback down again towards $3,100. In the worst case scenario, down to the 20 daily moving average at $2,700. And if this happens, take it as a good buy and long opportunity because Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish and we should expect here also new all-time highs very, very soon, especially as long as the Bitcoin dominance is still falling. And especially if it's still below the 50 level, the altcoins gonna profit a lot if Bitcoin is just going sideways or even higher. And now we can also have a look into the DXY because the DXY is still struggling here to push above the EMA ribbons. As you can see, we are getting some problems here. And that of course is very much in favor for the crypto and stock market. What I don't like so far is here that we are having the nine daily moving average as a support right here at $91. So if the nine daily moving average is strong enough to hold the price, there is a very high chance that we could even shoot through here and potentially go up to test the 50 and 200 daily moving average here at $92 but since the EMA ribbons right now are giving really huge problems and also the RSI is still below the 50 level I think that the chances are very high that we are getting rejected here and come back down towards $90 and that of course is very much in favor for the crypto and stock market and talking about stock market Let's go over to Nasdaq because although Nasdaq here is still trading right at the bottom of the EMA ribbons and that is a bit concerning to me. I don't like right now what is going on here for Nasdaq. Usually this is also a potential indicator for where Bitcoin is heading to next because we had here this nice bullish pattern but we broke out to the downside and for now we are getting supported by the bottom of the EMA ribbons. So let's hope that we are able to push higher back into this ascending triangle because if this is now new resistance, then we most likely are heading lower towards $13,200. And if this support will not hold, we should look for a retracement back down to the 200 daily moving average back below $13,000 because the 200 daily moving average right now is at $12,400. 
dollars and that of course would lead into a massive correction here for the nasdaq and potentially also in the crypto space this wouldn't change much here in the bullish structure and this nice bull run that we're seeing also here in nasdaq because even a retest of the 100 or 200 daily moving average wouldn't change much here on this nice bull market that we are seeing here things would only start to look really serious and bearish here if we would drop below the 200 daily moving average and start to close daily candles below because in that case we could be in a massive correction here and maybe during the summer we're gonna see also Nasdaq just going sideways or lower before also here we're gonna see new all-time highs so let's see what will happen here in Nasdaq in the next coming days I still expect here a bounce to the upside pretty soon I don't think that we will crash lower than $13,300 but as long as Nasdaq is in this critical zone down here, I think there is also a high chance that we could see something similar happening here for Bitcoin. So what we want to see today for Bitcoin is a nice daily close above $56,300. This, in my opinion, would confirm that we are back in an uptrend here in the daily time frame. And what we have seen in the last two days was just a fake out because we closed one candle below these important moving averages. And the next day we should it immediately back up without confirming this as a new resistance. So let's see if today we are able to close above $56,300. Then I think it's just a matter of time until we're gonna see new all-time highs here also for Bitcoin unless we're getting here a lower high and a big rejection at this important Fibonacci retracement at $61,000. So with that said guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and a big shout out goes also to Bitscap because they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. On Bitscap, you can connect all your exchanges to one platform and run trading bots on them or do also arbitrage. So for example, if the price for Bitcoin on Binance is cheaper than on KuCoin, then you can easily just directly through Bitscap buy on Binance and sell immediately on KuCoin like this you can also do some passive money by doing this arbitrage thing if you're interested then check out Bitscap the link is here in the description with my link you will get 14 days completely for free the pro plan and afterwards if it's paying out for you you can upgrade to a monthly plan which is starting only for 19 dollars a month so very cheap and you should get your money very easily back within a month as you can see my trading bots here are very profitable they are connected to my Binance exchange I also did a tutorial video if you're interested in trading bots it's popular up at the end of this video otherwise just trade yourself over on Bybit and Femex or try out the co-vesting feature over on Prime XPT all the links to those recommended exchanges are down below here in the video description you will get some extra money if you sign up with my referral links and on Prime XPT I'm still giving away $50 so you can start to trade here on Prime XPT with that free money you just have to contact me over on Discord so a big shout out to our great Discord trading chat if you want to sign up to our Discord community just use the invitation link that you also find in the description once you have clicked on that go to read first click on this thumbs up button and then you have free access to the trading chat and if you want to get my own indicator for your trading view or for the live stream here on discord just contact me directly on discord because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the indicator otherwise just get here a youtube membership so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!